Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will show you 10 Microsoft Word tricks that you can apply whenever you do some digital note-taking, you do your assignments, projects, and etc. If you have some additional shortcuts or tricks that I haven't included in the video, feel free to comment it down below so others will also have an idea about it. And yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So for the first Microsoft Word trick, this is just a simple search tool wherein basically by pressing the control key on your keyboard and the F key, it will allow you to search for a certain word or phrase you are looking for. The word that you're searching for will be highlighted by this color yellow and by clicking the options you have on the side it will show you where that specific word is located like in here i search for this word and it automatically shows here on the screen this is helpful if you already have a load of notes in the document and you are searching for a specific term on your lesson so instead of going over your whole document that contains that maybe contains roughly about five to ten pages you can use the search tool to search for it and this also works with phrases or sentences The next trick that I will be sharing with you is this one. So by pressing the control key on your keyboard and then highlighting the words or phrases on your document, you can easily change or modify them at once. So for example, you want to change the appearance of the topic title. So by holding or pressing on the control key, then highlighting the words using your mouse, you can edit them in bulk at once instead of going through them one by one. Like you want to change their font, font size, color, etc. You can save much more time if you do this trick or if you practice this one. The third Microsoft Word trick that I will share with you is on how you can have a custom colored highlighter using the shading tool. As you already know, Microsoft Word only contains this 15 bright highlighter colors and if you're not really a fan of it, you can use the shading tool to select your desired highlighter color. So to do that, highlight the word you want to apply the shading tool, then click the shading icon and choose the color you want. You can also add the color code of the highlighter color you prefer. However, once you click OK, as you can see here, the whole text box was shaded instead of the highlighted words only. So just undo that first and highlight again the words you want to highlight. And lastly, pick the color you choose in the shading tool option. Next, this is the other disadvantage of this Microsoft Word trick. The two lines will be fully highlighted. To avoid that, you have to highlight the line sentences individually. So it means that you have to highlight the words in each lines separately. And there you go, you have your custom highlighter. Next Microsoft Word trick is to set the autocorrect rules. So to do that, go to the file tab, then click the options menu, then the proofing tab. After that, click the autocorrect options button. And now you can set or type word shortcuts you usually use on your documents like in here in the replace column i typed here jp and on the other column i placed here my name then click ok so that whenever i want to type my name i can just type only the letters j and p and my name will automatically appear so this is also really useful if you always have to type a phrase or a sentence on most of your documents or you can also type here your name initials fifth is so i will show you how you can quickly remove the formatting of a text for example you typed a word or a sentence and then you change its font font color size etc like you completely modify the text but after some time, you want to bring it back 
to its original form like after you finish the whole document so instead of going all over again to undo it you can just highlight the text then press Control and backspace on your keyboard and it will automatically show you the original form or appearance of the text next is how to quickly and easily change or replace a specific word in bulk press the Control key and letter f on your keyboard then this navigation panel will appear on the side click on the drop down menu next to the magnifying glass icon then choose the replace option and after that this will appear like for example i type the word the on the find what row then i will replace it with the word hello so by the way this is just an example then click on replace all and with that in just a matter of a few seconds and a few clicks all the words that contain the word the will be changed by the word hello so instead of editing each word in your document you can just use this trick And by the way, this command is also included in the ribbon under the Home tab. You can just click on that if you want to replace certain words. Next is the search tool. With this, you can effortlessly search about a word that you want to look for within the MS Word application. You don't need to open the web because I know it eventually leads us to procrastinating. So just highlight the word and right click on it, then click on the search option. And you can also add some photos directly to your document without saving them to your device. You can also search for a freeze, like this for example, I highlight here, father of microbiology, and with that, it shows the answer on the search panel. Another Microsoft Word trick is this one. I will show you how to set a document or the document you edited and designed into a template. By the way, the file I'm using right now is from my previous video and I also shared this in a drive link. So to set a document as a Microsoft Word template, go to the file tab, then on the save as option, choose a folder where you want to keep it, then add a file name, and on the save as type option below it select the word template then click save and there you go you have your custom template i will just exit the document first and i will show you how and where you can find your template so once you open microsoft word click on the more template option then click on the personal tab and as you can see, the templates I made are located here. You can just click on it, then start editing the document and save it. If you want to use it again, just open Microsoft Word and choose the template. I will also repeat the process to the other template I made, click the file tab and on the save as option, save it as a word template. And these are the templates I made. This is very useful and it really does save a lot of time. Another trick I will be showing you is how you can highlight or select a sentence in just a few taps instead of going all over it. So by pressing the control key on your keyboard, then clicking on the first word in the sentence, it automatically highlights or selects the whole sentence. I think this can really save much more time than highlighting or selecting each word and with that, you can now edit and modify it. Also with this, it allows you to have a faster workflow on Microsoft Word.
Lastly is the change case tool on Microsoft Word. So personally, in the past, I tend to delete the whole word if I forgot to set it on all caps, like it should be typed on an uppercase form, which can really cost you additional time. So to avoid that, you can just highlight the word, then click the change case icon, which is the big and small letter E that is located at the top then choose the option you want to apply to the text you can either apply a sentence uppercase lowercase toggle case and capitalize each word option you can also apply it on paragraphs And yes, that is all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And by the way guys, I really appreciate you all. We just hit 30k subscribers. I can't even believe it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and for watching my videos. And yes, that is all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!